How's it going today, guys? So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing an overview of a rear window screen that I made for my truck. This is a 2017 GMC Sierra with the crew cab. And the whole idea here is I like to go car camping and my setup is this mattress that goes in the back seat and I sleep sideways. And then I have these um, window screens that go on the two side windows. They basically go over the window like a big stocking. Then you shut the door and then you can lower the window and then you get some nice airflow. But the last time I went, I decided that it just wasn't enough airflow for how hot it was. So I wanted to make a screen for this rear window. So this is what I came up with. I picked the dimensions of 10 and 3 eighths by 12 and 3 quarters. That gives me the maximum width that would fit in here. And then the height, it makes it perfect so that when you push it in, it just barely deflects this top seal and this bottom seal. So I don't have to worry about that. That's already sealed. And then hopefully I'll be able to take some black rubber, like auto sealant, single sided rubber tape on both sides here and then push it left and then shut the rear window on it. And then it'll be sealed on all four sides. And then obviously I'll have to take some mosquito netting, cut it to size and then staple it in place. And then as far as this frame goes, this is made out of uh, exterior PVC trim. It's one and a half by three quarter. And then I took this stuff, cut it to size, and then I put it on a table sander and I just rounded the edges to make it a little bit nicer. And then I hung it up and then I painted it black just so it's a little bit more low key. Now let's go inside and let's see what we can do about adding some netting to this and stapling it in place. Well, my camera messed up and I didn't get to show you what I just did, but it's pretty easy to explain. So basically I just took this window mesh stuff and then I cut out a piece uh, to fit this frame. And as I said before, this length was 10 and 3 eighths and this was 12 and 3 quarters. So I just took those dimensions and I reduced them a little bit so that we didn't get any overhang over the edges of this frame. So this long dimension, I went from 12 and 3 quarters to 12 and 3 eighths. And then this one, I went from 10 and 3 eighths to 10 and 1 eighth. And this allows, allows it to be just tucked in a little bit so that it doesn't stick out. And then I just cut it following these square holes in both dimensions. And then that gave me a perfectly square piece that I then stapled on using this electric staple gun. And then I just took a Sharpie and I colored the heads of each of the staples black so that you can't really see them. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna take some weather stripping and put it on the sides here. So this is the weather stripping that I decided to go with. I chose this double D profile with two distinct strips of foam with a little gap in the middle because when I stick it on here, it'll either go into the rubber weather stripping on the window or it'll be sitting there and then the window glass will close on it and then fit perfectly in that gap making a seal on the sides. And like I said before, the top and the bottom are already sealed by that factory window seal. So we just need this on the sides to seal the sides. So I'm gonna cut two strips off of this. I'm not gonna measure it. Basically, I'm just gonna put it to the edge and then stick it down. And then when I get to this far edge, right before I stick it down, I'll just take my scissors and snip it to the exact right length and then smooth it all out. And then I'll do the same on the other side. Okay, now we have weather stripping on both sides and our screen is completely attached. So let's take this outside and see how it fits. Okay, we're back outside now. Now we're gonna see how it fits. Since you last saw this, I did actually make one change to it. I moved this weather stripping to the inside edge. And the reason for that is this glass is the perfect surface to seal against. So this side has it on the outside edge and then this side will go against the window the sliding window itself, which is actually offset inwards a little bit. So when I 
put this one towards the inside edge and this one towards the outside edge, they line up pretty well. So like I showed you before, we just push this in here. And then I'm gonna take this left edge and put it on the glass. I have one strip of foam on the outside and one strip on the inside. And then I'm gonna line this one up with the sliding window. And then I'll go around and I'll shut the window on it. So looking at this now, I can see that it seals pretty perfectly. This left side is right on the glass. There's one foam strip on the outside and one on the inside. I can see that the top and bottom are sealing perfectly because I made it that perfect height to be just deflecting this factory weather seal. And then the right side is the same thing, but on the sliding glass, there's one piece of foam on the outside and one on the inside. And this thing is pretty secure. So I have no doubt that this will allow for a good breeze and still keep the bugs out. It's going to be perfect for car camping. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you like interesting and unique projects like this, make sure to like and subscribe because I do a lot of stuff like this. Thank you.